get started. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm State Senator Rhonda Fields. I represent Senate District 29, which is in Arapahoe County. And we're here to talk about school safety and two bills that were successfully passed out of our interim school safety uh, committee, and that's Senate Bill 1 and Senate Bill 14. Basically, what these two bills do is that they move the line forward as it has to do with behavioral health. And I have some folks who are gonna be talking about this a little bit more intimately, and I'll kind of wrap things up. But the people that you see standing with me are advocates, their parents, their students. They deal with mental health on a daily basis. So I'm gonna turn, turn this over right now to my uh, chair of the School Safety Committee, and she'll introduce some other folks. Thank you so much, Senator Fields. It's an honor always to work with you. Um, she is my, my super partner in behavioral health bills, and it takes two chambers to get a bill passed. It does. So um, we work together with, with Representative, I tried to make your Senator. We work together with Representative Sirota this interim on the School Safety Interim Committee, and we were looking at all of the different ways that we could make sure that not one more child dies by violence in school. And some of these ways include the bills that are coming forward that you're going to see. In Senate Bill 1 in particular, we're looking at our most underutilized resource and teaching them to be the trainers of these behavioral health care programs like Youth Mental Health First Aid, which I will um, let Frank Cornelia talk about, um, so that we use the resource we have in the classroom for this unbelievable tool. So I think this is gonna be a big game changer. I'm very excited to be on this bill and to have served on this committee with Senator Fields as my vice chair. Now I will turn it over to Frank Cornelia. Representative, do you wanna join in? Thank you, uh, representatives and uh, Senator Fields. Uh, so my name is Frank Cornelia. I'm the Deputy Director and Chief Strategy Officer for the Colorado Behavioral Healthcare Council. Uh, we're a traditional uh, membership organization, trade association. What makes us unique is that within our association, uh, we house Mental Health First Aid Colorado. Uh, Mental Health First Aid is a national program uh, managed by the National Council for Behavioral Health. Um, it is a value of the community mental health centers and the CBHC uh, to promote Mental Health First Aid training in Colorado. Uh, we're part, we're very proud to be a part of the coalition um, of, of Colorado-based organizations, including Healthier Colorado, Mental Health Colorado, One Colorado, and all our individual uh, members, our community mental health centers from across the state, uh, in supporting this important bill, Senate Bill 1. How cool is that? Um, Senate Bill 1 will invest in critical behavioral health resources for Colorado's teachers, school personnel, and students. As leaders, parents, educators, and community members, we have a responsibility uh, to address the growing mental health crisis in our schools. In recent reports and articles that you've seen, the statistics are alarming. Um, between 2016 and 2019, teen suicide rate increased uh, by 58%. Now we are doing some, uh, seeing some positive movements in communities like El Paso County, but this is still a crisis in our communities. A recent article by CPR reports that a third of Colorado youth report uh, feeling sad or hopeless. Um, and one in six uh, youth have seriously considered suicide in our state, including half of our LGBT youth. Um, this is clearly an issue that needs to be addressed, and we think that Senate Bill 1 will go a long way in doing that. Senate Bill 1 will establish a train-the-trainer model. Uh, it will include, uh, as Representative uh, Daphne Michelson Janae uh, said, it will help us build a sustainable pipeline of behavioral health trainers for all schools. Uh, the bipartisan bill will bring programs like Youth Mental Health First Aid into our schools, and these trainings will help our educators um, and school personnel um, help identify youth uh, that have challenges or may be heading towards a crisis. Uh, it will help them access resources, uh, will help refer them uh, to resources uh, for students that uh, need, need those resources. Uh, the bottom line is, what this can do if we can uh, expand youth mental health first, first aid trainings throughout our, our schools, it helps create a common language. Um, I'm really proud of our Colorado uh, Mental Health First Aid program. I'm happy to be joined by uh, Dr. Barb Becker, who's the director. Colorado is the third highest 
uh, state in the country as far as penetration. We have trained nearly 74,000 Coloradans, uh, roughly 1% uh, penetration rate. And so we are extremely uh, excited about the opportunity that Senate Bill 1 gives us to potentially expand that even further. We've got an exciting opportunity coming um, later in 2020 with Teen Mental Health First Day. This will be the first time uh, that a teen curriculum uh, will be available uh, to train uh, youth. And so part of the opportunity here is that uh, to, to host that program, school districts have to have at least 10% of their students and personnel trained in youth mental health first aid to be able to offer teen mental health first aid. And we're extremely excited. Lady Gaga is a huge supporter of teen mental health first aid and her Born This Way Foundation. Um, it's a, it's going to be a nationwide opportunity. So I just want to thank the representatives again, the Senator, um, I'm going to introduce Representative Sirota, who's the House uh, sponsor of this bill, and couldn't be more pleased and, and thankful for.